What is going on everyone? I'm Pro, and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov quest guide. This guide will be for the quest test drive part one. In this video, we're going to go over requirements. We're going to go over parts. We're going to go over costs. We're also going to go over where the best place it is to do this quest. And there'll be a few tips sprinkled throughout the video. before we dive in don't forget to like the video it really helps get my videos noticed and don't forget to subscribe so i can quit my full-time job and do this for a living at 14,300 subscribers so the requirements for this quest is that you kill five pmc operators using an m1a with a hybrid 46 suppressor and a reap ir thermal scope it does not matter how you have the M1A set up, you can set it up any way you want, as long as you have your hybrid 46 suppressor and your Reap IR. Have one right there. So this build is incredibly expensive. You do, once you accept the quest, you do get this weapon up front. So it's extremely important that you survive with this weapon because once you die, you're looking at at least a million just to put this thing back together. An M1A right now in uh, April 2022 is going for 75K on the flea market. Then you have the factor in the suppressor. So the hybrid 46 suppressor is going for 95k on the flea market and or 802 dollars from peacekeeper and then you got to get yourself a reap ir you are going to notice that the reap is not on the flea market you can only get it from good old skier in a barter trade and the barter trade for skier with those items is going to cost you at this time in the wipe 966,000 rubles. And then if you do the barter with mechanic, as you can see, uh, very expensive stuff. You're looking at 1.1 million rubles. So it's extremely important that you survive first time you get this weapon because it's going to be extremely costly going forward and if you don't have a lot of rubles uh, you're going to be hurting to get this done so a pro tip you can do what i did from the clips at the beginning of the video you can actually add a the mpr mount that goes onto the side actually here that goes onto the side of your weapon that gives you the ability to use a red dot if you don't like using the thermal or you're just having trouble um this is a uh an option for you and the kills will count as long as you have your suppressor on there and the reap you can use this mpr uh side mount and use the uh red dot along with it now for ammo choice remember you're going into the raids to kill people and okay? you're holding over a million dollar weapon you want to make sure these people die and, and you don't end up losing that weapon. So use the best ammo you can use. That's going to be M61. You can use M993, which is the best uh, in slot, but that is not something that you can readily buy from a trader. Uh, you have to find it in raid. So use M61. If you have to use M62, that's the second best choice. And then your third best choice is M80. But if you want your best case scenarios, M61, so you don't lose that weapon. Now, what map should you do to get this quest complete? Um, you want to do whatever map that you're most comfortable with. If you are good at factory and you want to just get this quest done, factory is a good place to do this. Right now, we're I don't know, four or five months into the wipe, I think. Off the top of my head factory is just pistol runners and new players um we don't run into too many chads right now uh, here and there but uh i went in 
you, know, you put in put on an all in and some some good armor and no one's going to be able to kill you unless there's a chad running around uh usually you just run into pistol people and um you know you can get this done but that's only if you're comfortable with factory and factory is weird you can get forklift spawn and get pinched in the corner by like a two-man or something um it's really easy to to uh get screwed on factory so um if you're not 100 percent comfortable on factory i would recommend well i wouldn't recommend labs unless you're a hacker <laughs> um i wouldn't recommend lighthouse lighthouse can get kind of sweaty and weird um i wouldn't recommend lighthouse right now reserve hell no um half the time people are indoors so i i wouldn't recommend reserve unless you like a reserve main or something interchange absolutely not too much bs going on in the mall to, to risk that that weapon um woods uh the value of this weapon and it being a thermal it's very appropriate to uh treat this as a, a sniper so going in the woods you know hiding in the the foliage and and sniping with the thermal is a good option i wouldn't go at night because most of the time woods night has a lot of thermal users so again trying not to die as as possible and then customs is a pretty good ch a choice um a lot of players a lot of newer players you're gonna have chads running around uh but customs isn't that bad so I would recommend customs woods and shoreline no shoreline no um unless you're gonna stay outside the resort but shoreline's kind of dead outside the resort so um i would say factory if you're comfortable with factory and customs and woods those would be the three i would recommend uh just because of the sheer value of the weapon we don't want to take any risks unless you feel a thousand percent confident on one of those other maps and that's a wrap for this video thank you for watching i hope this video helped you there's not too many tips that you can really give for this it's kind of just what map you're comfortable with in getting your pmc kills uh, i hope i helped in some capacity remember like the video it helps and don't forget to subscribe We're almost at 14,300 subscribers thanks for watching